Don't mind the bike without an exhaust in the background there, it's, uh, it's for a future video which is taking way longer than expected. Also, you might hear that our sound setup is a lot better than the last time we met. I don't know Dave, do you hear any difference? I don't. For those of you complaining about the echo, you were right. So Dave and I put up some foam on the walls. We got a new amazing mic, so you should be able to hear our nonsense a lot clearer now. I'm also recording with this as a backup because uh, you can never have too much audio. But talking about today's episode, it's another multi-story episode because every manufacturer is pretty much sleeping. If you've got a Senna 30k comms unit, Senna is giving you a present. Stick around. The Senna 50 series, which includes the standard 50S and a lower profile 50R was announced quite a while back, but wasn't actually available for sale anywhere. As of now, the units are available for sale at least in the US. On the Senna Europe site, they are not even listed, but if you live in the US, you can treat yourself as of now. To do a recap, the 50 series is what the 30 series should have been. Senna calls it Mesh 2.0, which promises transfer rates of up to 80% more between headsets. What this means for the rider is a lot better connection quality between headsets and crispier audio quality when using the intercom to chat with your buddies. On paper, there is no functional difference between what Mesh 2.0 offers compared to Mesh 1.0, I'm talking about functionality for the rider here, but this time it should actually work properly and do what it's supposed to do. Fingers crossed. We will definitely test this once we get our hands on one. In the meantime, if you have a 30k unit, Senna will push a new firmware update on the 1st of May, which will upgrade the 30k to the new Mesh 2.0 system. That's actually very nice breathing new life in the 30 series with software. I've been saying this all along, software is what makes the difference. There are also a few other noteworthy improvements to the 50 series. I think the most important one is the quality of the speakers. Senna claims it has redesigned the new HD speakers with more power, clarity and comfort. Can't wait to hear those. 30% faster charging, charging time was never a problem really, nobody was asking for that and a Wi-Fi adapter which will update the headset automatically if it's plugged in. All of these are nice and dandy, but one of the most requested features so far seems to have just... Waterproofing. No mention whatsoever regarding waterproofing. So, uh, they might be, they might not, we'll see. We've recently done a comparison between the Pactoc Bold and the 30K, link in the description and up here. Story number two, how can you own your own Ducati Panigale for 70 bucks? Easy, just build it yourself. Lego has partnered up with Ducati this time to bring joy to the lives of middle-aged men everywhere. The Ducati Panigale V4R joins LEGO's Technic series. The purpose of this series is to create more advanced models with more complex technical functions compared to the simpler brick building LEGOs. The Panigale is made up of 646 pieces and even features a two-speed transmission which LEGO says it's a first for the series. At 30 centimeters in length, all of those beautiful details of the Panigale will be more than large enough for us to play with. I mean, uh, admire. We don't, we don't play with toys. Now, I can tell you from first-hand experience that building the 1200GS LEGO Technic was an absolute joy. This took about 8 to 9 hours and I remember fondly that I was quite happy doing it. So, if you haven't tried it before, it's actually quite relaxing and therapeutic. Now, the Panigale won't be available until the beginning of August, thanks for being a tease Lego, but in the meantime, the 1200GS is available and so is the Harley Fatboy. So you can spend your time stuck inside in a much more pleasant way. Links in the description for both of those. 
Well, that's it for today, everyone. Let us know in the comments what your expectations are for Senna's new 50 series intercoms. Will they nail it this time or is Mesh 3.0 the lucky number? If you've enjoyed the show, give it a big thumbs up. And if you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming a Patreon to help us make more of these. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.